Suzuki. You must be delighted with that performance. I know you're not one to get carried away, but uh, to, to take them on tonight, and they wanted to win that. There's no doubt about that. They've had two good results, 5-1, 5-2, and uh, they came here with their tails up. But, uh, wow, that was a good, good 90 minutes of football. Yeah, absolutely. Um, delighted with the performance, you know. We, um, <coughs> we, we obviously looked at their results through pre-season and they're, they're a good team, don't get me wrong, in the league above but I, it, I've just said to the players there, you know, it might take 75-80 minutes before our formation where we want to rotate and play at the back um, and eventually they couldn't get couldn't get near us, you know, and uh, the way we pass the ball and I, I thought we'd definitely look fitter than them and uh, but was that down to us with more movement because we had the ball more, you know, um, it was a cooler night, don't get me wrong, from Saturday but I can't fault the lads' attitude, you know, we, we obviously had two penalties, scored one, missed one but and they've uh, they've fluked one in but first half, our keepers made a few good saves, they've hit the post so we, we won't get too carried away. Absolutely. But it's a progression, you know, and um, we've got to keep progressing. We've got a Saturday, we've got Erith and Belvedere, we've got to progress again. And we, this is what it's all about. It's all building up to that first game on the 10th of August. Yeah, um, and I think you're very right to keep it, uh, you know, downplay it a little bit. You're quite right. Their first staff performance was uh, was fairly good, but uh, we uh, we made them switch a little bit. You know, they, they didn't have the freedom they thought they were going to have, did they? No, and that's testament to where we passed the ball and moved it. Um, we put a lot of young kids in there. Uh, first half, you know, we had the two boys uh, from the reserves, Bolo and Matty, uh, stepped up, you know, and it was it was really good and it was refreshing to see there's a good youthfulness about us and um, with the with the bit of experience at the back. And I thought the boys at the back were absolutely outstanding, you know. Matt Lampel was first class first half and made some great saves, and uh, we showed a siege mentality at times to keep that ball out of our net. And uh, unfortunately, we just got done on a, a cross. Um, um, obviously, the sub keepers just come on, and he had no chance with it. There's not no no blame at all with that one. Um, and he, he, to be fair, he didn't really get tested. So it shows you, second half, we we were definitely the better team, and um, I'm really delighted with the way we played. Um, uh, I thought the fans were terrific again, and um, hopefully everyone can see. The, the progression and, and what the works obviously on the training ground starting to pull through on the game. And also a reflection on you, it's your side now, it's your team and uh, you can see a couple of the signings that you brought in, the, the young lads, the young Charlie Smith, um, one or two of the other boys. Yeah, I mean Charlie's got a, got a bit of an edge to him, you know, I like he has, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, he reminds me of Scott actually, Scott's yeah, the same, they've got an edge yeah, to him. He's all action and yeah. um, he doesn't give defenders a minute piece and that's what you want, you know, yeah. it's difficult uh, at any level if, if you've got players always in your face and that can get after you. So. No, I mean, Scott uh, was terrific again tonight, I thought he was first class, and um, I'm delighted that I got 70 minutes myself, you know. Yeah, I think um, you did really well. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, um, obviously, age is not on my side, but I think... I experiences, yeah, experiences. Get experience the right positions and yeah, it yeah. passes at the right time, yeah. so that's what it's all yeah, about. It's, all really. about and it's, yeah. it's good that I can go and leave from the front as well, on the pitch. I, I agree with you, and it's good to see that the boys know that, uh, you know, you're putting the shift in as well. That's what it is. We're going to, we're, we're going to try to be a, a real close knit uh, team this year, and that, um, I felt as if last time, last year at times, it wasn't. We just didn't have maybe that chemistry, the bonds. But I, I can see it gelling now. I can really see, like I say, the boys really want that, uh, the hunger, desire, determination, everything. What I ask and the chairman asks for Whitstable Town, and, mm. and, um, and and Jason and, and Bob and Kevin, we, we all want we all want one thing, and that's to win games of football. And uh, I'm playing the right manner. I've got to say, the referee. Was first class. He was excellent. He's come off the yeah. pitch and he said to our boys, "Absolutely fantastic attitude." And um, uh, their boys started going around trying to kick a few of our players. Yeah. Maybe that's a bit of frustration because they couldn't get the ball off us. Because yeah. um, sometimes that happens. Very unusual that we're going to uh, credit a referee. They don't get as much as they should. Kevin, wait, he, he had a really good game, he did, didn't he? I mean, it, yeah. listen, it's, it's pre-season for them as well. Yes, of course it is. Yeah, so they want to get back into it. Yeah. And, uh, no, I thought it was terrific and um, I'm really pleased with the whole performance and I'm pleased with the game, you know. Uh, I know Simon Osborne, we were teammates at uh, Gillingham, you know, for a few years and uh, he's a great lad and he's a footballer as well, you know, he's, he's played at a decent level and if, um, uh, so, yeah, well, uh, obviously, listen, we're not going to get too carried away, no. but it's it's a progression and that's what you've got to keep asking your players, a progression, you know. And, uh, Last thing I want to do is put words in your mouth, but is it now a case of you looking forward to uh, you know, I don't want to get too carried away, obviously, but we're looking forward to the, the league starting. Mm. And looking have you forward to the fixtures. Yeah, first well, absolutely, off, first off. Yeah. Everybody's itching to <laughs> everybody's find out what's itching. happening, and uh, yeah, well, we just want to see um, these fixtures come out. And is, is your plan then to sort of think about a squad of about 20 players, and that's how you want to 
Yeah, we do because obviously we've got the Ram under 21, you know, and that's where players can cross over. Yeah. And um, I want to keep, uh, I don't want the distance to be too great from the under 21 to the first team. I want to try and keep, you know, as a neutral, um, if one gets injured or lack of form, we can easily step in. You can see the young kids there, they can easily step in, they yeah. can handle it, and um, it really excites me for the season. Very nice to see the under 21s down here with you tonight. Um, out on the pitch at the end of the game, yeah. you know, here with you, training, warming up, mm -hmm. part of the squad. Well, that's what I want. I want us all together, and uh, that's I don't want us in them scenario. I want us to be as one, you know, and, and I want I want us to have that connection. Like I say, the next thing is to get hopefully us into Whitstable, like you say, and get them fans through the door. Uh, but we'll only do that by getting the right results on the pitch at the end of the day, because that's. Uh, that's what fans want and what um, local people want. You know, they want uh, your team doing well and, um, and hopefully uh, Whitstable in the headlines, and that's what we want. Well done. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap it up. The gnats are starting to bite, aren't yeah, they? So, biting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Nicky. Cheers, thanks, thanks very much.